Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. Find the area of the blue shaded region as shown in this figure. Let's look at the basic component of this figure. We start with a semicircle with a diameter of 6 units and another semicircle with a diameter of 4 units. These two semicircles are perpendicular and then we shade their intersection. Now we would like to find what is the area of this geometric lens. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this elegant geometry problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by locating and labeling their centers and the point of intersection as S and this corner point here as R. Then let's connect center O to the point of intersection S, then connect center P to the same point of intersection. We now form here a kite. Since radii of the same circle are equal, then this side here and this side are equal, this side also here and this other side here are also equal. Then let's connect point R and S to separate the two segments of our two semicircles and let's color code those two segments. In order to find the area of this geometric lens, we need to find the area of this green segment and this yellow segment of the semicircles. And notice that I can find the area of this yellow segment by starting with this sector and then subtracting this triangle. And so we need to find the separate areas of this sector in this triangle in order to be able to find this yellow segment here. Similarly, we can find the area of this green sector and subtract the area of this green triangle to be able to find the area of this green segment. So notice that the sector minus the triangle will give us our desired areas. So that means we need to find the area of these four geometric figures. But notice that if we combine these two triangles this way, their combined area would be equal to this shape here. In other words, the area of the two triangles is the area of the kite itself. To find the area of this kite, we need the length of its diagonals. But there is a faster way of finding the area of this kite by noting that we have here a 90 degree angle and another 90 degree angle. So if we draw this diagonal here, we form two identical right triangles. And since the diameter is 4 units, that means this distance that is equal to the radius of the semicircle is half that force. So we have 2. This distance is also 2 units because they are identical. This leg of this right triangle is 1 half this 6. So we have 3 and another 3 units for the second right triangle. So for the area of the first right triangle that is 1 half times base times height or 1 half times 2 times 3, which is equal to 3, that is also the area of this lower right triangle. So the combined area is 3 plus 3 or 6. That is the area of our kite here. Let's remember this value. We are going to use that later on. Let's concentrate now on these two sectors. We need to find the area of each of them. We need to find the central angle to be able to find the area of these two sectors. So to find the central angle of this green sector, we start by noting again this right triangle. Let's call this angle here to be theta. And since this is a right triangle, the angle here must be the complement of theta, and that is pi over 2 minus this angle theta. Now the angle down here is identical to this angle, so this is also theta. That means the central angle of our green sector is 2 theta. Similarly, the central angle of our yellow sector would be twice this angle here, so that is 2 times pi over 2 minus theta, which is equal to pi minus 2 theta. And so we now have the expressions for the central angles of these two sectors. Now let's look at this part here. The area of this green sector would be the measure of the central angle over one rotation, which is 2 pi, times the area of the green circle. So we now write that as the central angle 2 pi over one rotation, which is 2 pi, times the area of the circle pi r squared, where our r is 3 units. So this pi and this pi are cancelled. This 2 and this 2 are also cancelled out. What's left is 3 squared or 9 times theta. So here, the central angle divided by one rotation, which is 2 pi, times the area of the circle pi times the radius squared, where r is 2 units. So this pi and this pi are cancelled. 2 pi is 4 divided by 2 is 2. So what's left is 2 times this numerator, which simplifies to 2 pi minus 4 theta. These are now the expressions representing the area of these two sectors and 
the only missing piece here is the value of theta. But we can find theta. That is the arc tangent of B over A. Looking at this right triangle, this angle theta is equal to the inverse tangent of the opposite side, which has a value of 2 units, and the adjacent side, which has a value of 3 units. Using our calculator, the inverse tangent of 2 thirds is approximately 0 0.588. And we can now replace this theta and this theta by this value. So we now have, for the area of the green sector, that is 9 times this value that gives us an approximate area of 5.29 square units. And for the area of this yellow sector, that is approximately equal to 3.93 square units. So we now have here the areas of the two sectors. Let's bring back the area of the kite that we computed previously. And we can now have the area of the blue shaded region here. This 3.93 is the area of this yellow sector. This 5.29 is the area of this green sector. And this 6 is the combined area of the two triangles. This gives us a value of approximately 3.22 square units for the area of this blue shaded region. And if you are going to generalize the process that we followed here, we'll be able to derive that the formula for the area of this geometric lens would be a squared minus b squared times the inverse tangent of b over a plus pi b squared over 2 minus ab, where a and b are the radii of the two semicircles respectively. Notice that this AB is this part, and the area of these two sectors are represented by this part of the formula. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.